the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're back in Vicenza, our favorite city to visit here in Italy. And today we're going to talk about are the don'ts of visiting Vicenza, because a lot of people have started to come here and enjoy the city, and I thought it was time we went a little bit farther in our videos on how to help people here in Vicenza. And the first thing I got to tell you is, when you come here, don't believe the lies that people tell you around Italy that you will eat cat here in Vicenza. No, 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 no. That is generations ago, decades, decades, decades ago when those things kind of happened because those were tough times in Italy back in those days. But the, the rumor, the, the myth, the legend that they mangigati are the people of Vicenza, no, no, there, there's no cat eating here. Though you will see a cat at the stadium if you go to one of the games when you're here. So let's just get that one out of the way just so you know. But, but honestly, I think the most important thing in terms of cultural history and importance is don't forget to pay respect to my wife's boyfriend and probably the most influential architect ever. Andrea Palladio is from here in Vicenza and you can see tons of his buildings around town and in the area around here. I mean, they do bike tours to his villas and his estates that he built around here. But here on the Piazza Signori, go right around the corner, you'll see the Basilica Palladiana, his basilica, which is gorgeous. And don't think the basilica is a church. It's actually, they have a museum inside and there's all kinds of great places to have a TV around there. But yes, Palladio is the man here in town. There's actually a statue for him here. And when you go around, you'll see a number of his buildings and you know the Villa Rotunda which is right out of town you'll see that and be like hey that kind of inspired you know the, the White House and all these great buildings around the world yeah yeah they did so don't forget to pay respects to Andre Palladio when you're here because it's amazing okay now another one of his his buildings is the Teatro Olimpico and don't pass up going to the Teatro Olimpico now he built the building but inside they built a stage that is incredible it's so incredible it's a UNESCO World heritage site and you'll go in and see it and you'll do a tour there it's beautiful and you go in and you see oh that's a marble stage that's really cool oh no 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 that's not a marble stage and those perspectives that make it look like it's like five blocks deep oh no 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 that's all perspective it's all done in wood it's fantastic and it's so important for cultural history it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it even has its own fire station right there just in case anything happens so definitely check it out and, and I'm gonna tell you don't forget to get your tickets when you go at the tourism office right next door because they're super helpful as well so don't forget to do that now with all this architecture and walking around and enjoying things you're probably gonna get a little hungry when you're here and I'm gonna say this don't pass up a chance to have bigly con arna which is basically bigly with a duck ragu sauce it is so good and if you've never had bigly it's a fat egg like spaghetti noodle and you, you you'll see it it's more of a winter time thing because it's very fortifying let's say but it is wonderful but that duck ragu sauce that is a thing from here in Vicenza and around this area it is wonderful you've got to have that and honestly it's my favorite Italian food and every time I come here my friends know no matter how hot it is it was 38 degrees the other day or you know like you know almost like a hundred you know Fahrenheit and I had to have it my Italian friends like dude how can you eat that in this heat I'm like because it's amazing so definitely have the bigly when you're here now to kind of beat the heat another don't I have for you is don't pass up a chance for a pet TV you know the afternoon drink you have here in Italy yes they love it here and when you're here in Venice you're gonna have a spritz there's very much there's a lot of different kind of spritzes you can have I know spritz Aperol is the most popular one around the world right now and if you're not sure what a spritz is it's Prosecco with bubble water and then they'll put you know Aperol which is kind of a sweeter um, it's weird it's like a sweet bittery orange one or you might have Campari which is very much more bitter or you can have the Venice version with the select or in the Chivo which is you know the bubble water and the Prosecco with Aperol and Campari so you can have that but a pair of TV time here is a thing for me don't pass it up because it's your best chance to meet some of the wonderful locals that are here and they're gonna tell you more about the city and what you should see and what you should eat so don't pass it up and here Piazza del Signore there's plenty of them out here during the day or you can go around town some of my favorite favorites Pausa de Dolce is another great place to go you can see Christian there they've got all the aperitivi you could ever imagine you can go to Pitanta if you're gonna be on the other side of the river there's so many great like places just to sit and have their aperitivi and if you didn't know when you have your aperitivi in the afternoon your drinks usually they'll bring you out like a little snack as well so that can tide you over until dinner time to get that bigly con anna or my next don't for you is don't be surprised when actually the most famous food from here is actually with codfish yes bacala alla vingentina or basically Vicenza codfish 
is a super popular dish here in town, but also it's one of those dishes that people know about from Vicenza around Italy. And the reason why it's kind of a surprise for people is because Vicenza is landlocked. So why would a fish that's from the sea be one of their most popular dishes? Well, because in the history of Vicenza, a lot of the sailors, a lot of people here became sailors for Venice and they went out. So they got used to eating all that stockfish, the codfish, and they brought it back here. And it's kind of like a codfish stew and you have it with polenta. It's really quite nice. I mean, if you're here during the day, Rigetti always has it. It's a nice little like, um, you know, go in, you pick what you want, and they give it to you, and you talk to them later, and they pay. It's one of those super fun things. Like, don't pass up lunch at Rigetti because it's very economical, it's very tasty, and they change the menu every day. So it's like three or four different pastas or meads you can try, but it's a really super Italian thing to go and eat at when you are here. The thing is, I really want to tell you this one. If you're going to be here on the weekends, actually Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, don't forget to make dinner reservations, especially if you want to eat downtown, because Italians love to go out to eat. In Vicenza, it's no different. So the weekends, places fill up, okay? So make sure you ask that reservation. So when you're walking around during the day, you see a place that looks nice, maybe go, hey, um, do you have any room for a three tonight, you know, or whatever? And they can help you out. Or they'll say, we don't have it today, maybe tomorrow night, because you don't want to miss out on the fantastic food that's here. Now, another thing tourists like to ask about when they go traveling is, well, how do I get around town? Town, Mark. Do I need to use public transportation? What do I need to do? You don't have to worry about public transportation here in Vicenza. You can walk around and see all the different parts of town. No problem. See the walls. See the, the, the basilica. Heck, there's actually a stairwell that will you can walk up that'll take you to Monte Berico. If you're not sure what Monte Berico is, when you come out of the train station, turn around, look up on the hill, and you'll see it up there. You can actually walk up to that. I've done it a number of times. I mean, it takes some strength, but the views from up there are gorgeous. But honestly, you don't have to use public transportation when you are here. I mean, you can, but you don't really need to. Now, another thing that's kind of nice, if you're going to be here during the week, is market day. So Tuesday and Thursdays is a traditional market here. You've got the seniority to be throughout town. So whether you the meats, cheeses, clothes, all kinds of stuff, you want to get the t-shirts for your neighbor's kids as a gift for watching your dog. This is where you can kind of get them. But what's fun is on some Sundays, there's also other themed um, markets as well we were here on a sunday and it was the antique flea market and joss just fell in love she got all kinds of vintage clothing and things but it's really really cool and and that kind of reminds me of another thing don't pass up shopping here in vicenza because if you're in venice you're gonna get overrun with tourists and the shopping stuff and they're not gonna be as helpful or friendly because there's just so many tourists verona yeah there might be more shops there but again more tourists harder to get the really good service here you can get italian clothes italian design stuff for men and women and the thing is a lot of people here speak english I'll talk about that in a little bit and they'll help you figure things out. I know Jocelyn had a fantastic time shopping the other day with Ozzy, our friend's daughter, finding fantastic dresses here that you just don't find back home in the US, the UK, and it's really locally produced stuff and you're like, this is awesome. So don't pass up shopping when you're here. Another thing that makes Vicenza really great is because it is kind of in the center of the Veneto. So you can use this as a great base. Now I say use this, don't just use it as a base, also enjoy Vicenza itself, but you can go out and there's all kinds of great simple day trips to go to. You can go to Venice. Seriously, save yourself a couple hundred euros a night by staying here versus staying in Venice, okay? But you can go to Venice for the day, anywhere from a half hour to an hour away, depending on the train you get. You can go to Padova, the university city. I mean, 15 to 30 minutes to get there. You want to go to Verona to see Juliet's balcony, anywhere from 25 minutes to an hour to get there. You want to go to the mountains, you can go up there. Marostico, you can go there. Ah, you want to go to the home of Grappa, you know, the, the strong liquor afterwards. Yeah, you can go to Basal del Grappa and have Grappa on the bridge when you're there. There's so many great day trips you can take from here in Vicenza, whether it's the train or the buses that go there. Cittadella is a beautiful walled city that's just on a local train line that's easy to go see. So don't forget to do some of those day trips while you're here. That's why it makes a great base. And speaking of base, I think it's also important to notice, don't be surprised if you see a lot of Americans when you are here because there is a US base here. And so there's a lot of integration of the American soldiers and, and, and the people of the city working at the base and working with the base that you really see how they've really done a great job integrating together as the soldiers are learning Eng or are learning Italian and, and they do tours of the city to get to understand the culture better. They've done a really great job of kind of integrating together, which has been wonderful helping out the US soldiers that are there, but also the Italians that are here. And it's just been a 
become a great thing. And, and that's why you'll notice, wow, there seems to be a lot of U.S. tourists here. Yes, there are a lot of U.S. tourists, but there's also the base and the people that work with the base and those things. And, and that's why I think uh, one of those things, if you kind of get tired of the pizza and pasta of Italy, don't pass up Vicenza because this is the capital of Tex-Mex, American barbecue, and burgers in Italy. Because all those U.S. soldiers, they miss their food from home, just like everybody does. And so you can find that they'll actually have really good barbecue, really good burgers, and not just out by the base. We went to the Prince of Wales, which is just like right outside of town, and fantastic burger. I mean, it's I know it's silly to say, well, why would you eat non-Italian food when you're in that? Well, you know, once you travel around for a few months, sometimes you miss those things from home. So coming here, you can have that. And also what's funny, you know how I always say, don't think you're going to get spaghetti and meatballs or mac and cheese. Well, if you go by the base, there's some restaurants there that actually do sell spaghetti and meatballs and craft macaroni and cheese because it's their Italian-American menu you might have. Now, when you are here, I know there's a lot of U.S. soldiers, and so there's a lot of English that is here. But don't forget, use some Italian Italian when you're here, grazie, which is thank you, and buongiorno, which is good day, you know, and vore, which is I would like. These little things go a long way because now that a lot of tourists are starting to come here, you know, they notice that not a lot of tourists speak Italian. So a few words of Italian will go a long way when you're here, but don't worry, like you'll be surprised how many people do speak English here very well, especially in the restaurants, the bars and stuff. So that's a really nice thing for tourists. Now, if you're here during the season, I also have to say this. Don't forget to go cheer for the Bianco Rossa. You gotta go cheer for Vicenza Calcio because Cuba Sud is life. Yes, they have their own you know, soccer team here, their own Calcio team here, their own football team here. And you can get tickets to the game relatively easily. Now, they're not Serie A. It's been a while since they were there. But they're usually in Serie B or Serie C, like the second or third division. They kind of go between those two. But it's always a fun time to go to the match and take it in. And you'll see people with their little Lanzarote, like little R on their shirts around town because the people love their team here. And that's one of the things I really love when you come to a town like Vicenza. You can go to the games and it's not just fair weather fans. It's people that born and bred and my dad, my grandpa, my grandma, we've all been cheering for, the, for, for, for Vicenza for so long that you have that true passion at the games here so don't pass up going to a game when you're here so obviously don't skip out on visiting Vicenza I know it's not a world famous city but it's well worth visiting from the great architecture the great food the great people when you're gonna be here so do come enjoy Vicenza if you want to learn more we've got what to eat in Vicenza on our Walters World East channel you can check that out we have stuff for a lot of those day trips from here from Passando del Grappa Verona Venice we have videos to help you out in those locations too but we hope you have a great time here in Vicenza I know we have We've been coming here for almost 20 years now, and we love it. We love the people, and we'd love for you to visit this great city. So I'll say ciao from here in Vicenza.